Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to talk to you about the six different flavors of Matt's cookies that were generously sent to me by Matt's Cookie Company back in July. I had promised that once I got through all those flavors, I'd circle back with you guys and just share with you my personal thoughts on what was tops for me and what was not. And so that's what I'm doing in today's video. I will make sure to provide you with a link in the description box below for Matt's Cookies so that you can check out the flavors that they do offer in case they are of interest to you. And I also do have to let you know that some of the links in my description box below are affiliate links, which means that if you decide to click on them and make a subsequent purchase, I will earn a small commission at no extra cost to you. Obviously, these are my personal opinions based on my personal palette. Take what I tell you with a grain of salt. Obviously what I think is good, you may not and vice versa. So I'm just sharing my personal opinion. With that being said, I had initially planned on starting like doing a countdown to my number one, but I'm sure you know that my number one is basically a given if you've seen my videos on this before. So there was gonna be really no buildup. So I'm gonna start with the tops. Number one flavor, chocolate chip. Hands down, bar none, my absolute favorite flavor from Matt's, that's never gonna change. There's just something about it. It has got a very distinct taste that is so uniquely Matt's and it's a taste that I absolutely love. So that is number one, no question, no suspense there really. If you've seen my videos before, tops flavor for me, chocolate chip, and all be all, the end. The second flavor on my list would have to go to my second favorite cookie in general, oatmeal raisin. Their oatmeal raisin cookie was very, very good. It obviously had the oatmeal, it had the raisin. I, I'm sure it had cinnamon and nutmeg. I have to admit, I did not look at the ingredient list, but speaking of, their ingredient list is very clean. All words you can actually say and, and pronounce easily, no 20 letter words that you don't know what they mean or where they came from, very clean list. I mean, to the point where one of my trainers from years ago said that if you're ever gonna have a cookie and you're gonna cheat with a cookie, this is the one to do it with because it's such a clean list. All the flavors that you would want and expect in an oatmeal raisin cookie were there and I absolutely loved it. I will definitely be buying Matt's oatmeal raisin cookies on those occasions when I do crave and want an oatmeal raisin cookie. Number three on my list had to go to the double chocolate chip. Now it wasn't gonna be immediately after chocolate chip because chocolate chip is tops. There was no way. And like I said, oatmeal raisin is my jam, my second favorite flavor. So the reason I placed this one third is because obviously it was a little different from the original uh, chocolate chip cookie, but it still had that flavor that I'm telling you about that I really love. It was there. It wasn't nearly as pronounced as it is with the original chocolate chip, but it was still there. So that was a plus. And it's also obviously being that it's double chocolate chip, a little chocolatier, which I kind of didn't mind. But like I said, my, my heart's with, with the OG chocolate chip. And that's why double chocolate chip came in at number three on my list. Numbers four and five, I kind of kept going back and forth on where to place what, and ultimately decided that number four is going to go for peanut butter. Now, me personally, I don't ever find myself craving a peanut butter cookie, maybe a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but not a peanut butter cookie. But obviously some people out there may prefer that. That may be their personal preference. So if that's the case, you're going to really enjoy Matt's cookies because you really taste peanut butter and like legit peanut. You see pieces of peanuts in the cookie. It's not you're not wondering if it's like an artificial flavor. The evidence is right there. You see pieces of peanuts. It's very uh, flavorful, full of that, that peanut taste that you'd want. And I think if, like I said, peanut butter cookies are your personal preference, you're going to enjoy the Matt's cookie. So with that being said, I ended up placing the peanut butter chocolate cookie at number five. The reason for this may be a bit weird to you um, based on my personal preferences. I love uh, peanut butter chocolate together. There's no question. I absolutely love that combo but typically I like it to be a little more chocolatey than peanut buttery. And Matt's does a fantastic job actually of keeping the flavor very even. So you don't feel like peanut butter is overpowering the chocolate or the chocolate's overpowering the peanut butter. It's quite even. And so if that's something you're looking for, I think you will be very pleased. But like I said, I personally prefer a little more chocolate flavor there. So that's kind of why I decided to place it beneath the peanut butter flavor. Now, if you've been keeping score and know what the flavors were that were sent to me, you now know that the flavor that came in dead last would have to be the cranberry walnut. Now, I hate to say I don't like something, but I did not 
like the cranberry and walnut. I'm so sorry, Mats. I hate to be saying this, but I just, it did not. I took one bite and I knew this was not going to be a flavor for me, unfortunately, which is a shame because I actually do love dried cranberries and walnuts as a snack together. You know, those two individual ingredients together as a snack great but as a cookie I did not like it at all unfortunately and so that's why that particular flavor ended up dead last on my list. With that we have reached the end of this video. Let me know in the comments below if you have tried this brand since I mentioned it to you guys. Did you pick it up at the grocery store? Did you happen to order it? What flavors? What did you think? What are you eyeing if you want to get another flavor maybe perhaps based on this particular video? Let me know in the comments section below and let's talk about cookies this week. Yummy yummy cookies. I'll grab a glass of milk and I'll wait for your comments okay guys? <laughs> if you haven't done so already make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button down below and ding the bell so that you are notified the next time I do upload a video because I would love to have you back. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!